very simple level, it's a detective story. It follows the journey of two policemen, two British policemen based in Hammersmith. Uh, a head is found in a bag of a murdered woman uh, in the Thames and they follow the trail back to an unnamed German city where the woman was, had worked and then they follow her back to Tallinn in Estonia where she originally was from. What I think is great is that the different elements demonstrate the most exciting parts of the different theatre cultures. So there's something about the wit and tenderness of the way Nick Tennant and Ferdy Roberts interrogate Rupert Simonian in the first scene, which is kind of like the best of British acting. Is he your boss? No. Are you his boss? Yes. Not much of a boss, is he? More like a clown than a boss. What music do you like then, Tommy? Come on, Tommy, what music do you like? Tommy, come on, what music do you like? I quite like the Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles? <laughs> yeah. Ferdy and Nick throughout are just great together. And they're kind of mates off stage. You know, the, the actors happen to be really good friends. And there's a kind of innate comedy and warmth between the two of them. Uh, ask him if he's ever heard of a man who calls himself the white bird. Haben Sie mal von einem Mann gehört, der sieht der Feist Vogel meant? What? That's the answer to the fact. Yeah. No, I mean, no, he hasn't, no. You know, the best of the German actors, you think of Stephen, who plays Detective Stefan Dresner, and I think of his opening monologue where he has to act in English. <laughs> it's just really funny. Morning, Mr. Detective Stefan Dresner. I work for the 6th Division, the Organised Crime Division. I'm in charge of a team of 11 detectives, team 6.42. Our office is around the corner. How annoying me and tell me, he told you about me. And then the physical viscerality of the Estonians coming on in that third part and just attacking the stage with kind of an athlete's muscle. I think that's extraordinary. Punk rock existed in a kind of naturalism, it was a heightened naturalism, but it existed within that world, a recognisably British aesthetic. I think the differences, you've, Simon's themes which are recurring, uh, are refracted through a director who doesn't, who's quite prepared to cut bits of the play, rewrite bits of the play, add things that were never in the play, but somehow Simon's play is robust enough uh, to take that. We rehearsed for three weeks here, at the Lyric Hammersmith in London, and then we went to Munich for three weeks, and then we went to Tallinn. Unlike a lot of British directors, he doesn't work from the inside out, but he, he has a kind of visualised realisation of the play that he imagines, and stages that as a means of travelling into the play. He's never asked me what I'm trying to say in the play. It's not been anything he's interested in in the way that if you read most, um, most, most British theatre criticism, a lot of British theatre critics will ask again and again, what is the writer trying to say? He has no interest in that at all. He just wants to make a, 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 kind, of, uh, a kind of musical energy and a kind of visceral muscle on stage. Uh, but he does it with tremendous intelligence and a tremendous kind of sensitivity. I think what this production does is take something we're familiar with British theatre being strong at new writing, but it's gone through the mincer of Sebastian and Annalise's imagination and then it, it, it really is something you will never have seen before.